Candidiasis is a superficial fungal infection caused by a yeast-like fungus called Candida albicans. It is also known as yeast infection, thrush, or monoliasis. Candida albicans is normally found on the mucous membranes, the skin, the GI tract, and the vagina. However, under certain circumstances, it can become pathogenic, particularly in those who are critically ill or immunosuppressed. A major risk factor associated with candidiasis is immunosuppression. Immunosuppressed individuals include those with acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS, those receiving chemotherapy, patients undergoing long-term antibiotic therapy, patients with diabetes mellitus, and obese patients. The signs and symptoms of candidiasis depend on the location that is affected. The mucous membranes of the mouth, perineum, vagina, axillae, and beneath the breasts are frequently affected. Candida infection appears as a white, cheesy plaque that can resemble milk curds, along with red and yellowish areas on the mucous membranes. Vaginal candidiasis manifests as vaginitis, which is marked by white spots, vaginal discharge, and red, swollen, and painful vaginal walls. Other common symptoms include pruritus, pain during urination and sexual activity, and a broad papular erythematous rash with tiny lesions. If you are finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the Integumentary System and Disorders Nursing School Notes, which includes the candidiasis concepts reviewed in this video. Treatment options for candidiasis include antifungals like fluconazole, ketoconazole, and nystatin. Patients are recommended to use condoms or abstain from sexual activity to stop the spread of the infection. It's essential for controlling the infection to maintain adequate skin hygiene by keeping the affected area dry and clean. Antifungal powder applied in non-mucosal skin services can aid in preventing recurrence. In providing care for patients with candidiasis, there are some significant nursing interventions to think about. Advise patients of the need to maintain clean, dry skin fold areas for prevention and treatment. It's important to frequently check the skin folds of hospitalized patients, turn and reposition them, and make sure the skin and bed sheets are clean and dry. The healing process is aided by routine oral hygiene with non-irritating products and by feeding lukewarm, non-irritating food and liquids. Thank you for watching and please leave a comment if you have any questions.